Gandolfi in Niue and it's a new country so we're gonna go and see what's here. And this is what greets you when you get off the tender boat. And you head up the hill and so there's gonna be a lot of natural beauty here. And when you get to the top, this is the whale sighting area. We've got a graveyard. And then there's a sign that lets you know what's nearby. We've got a custom store, market, and shopping center. So um, we're out at the Limu Pools. And this is basically a um, geological park. There's beautiful places to come and swim. This is the place to see in Niue. And this lovely lady over here is Felicity. She's in charge of the tourist department. We're gonna interview her later. And Give us a ride so we're gonna head down these steps and check out the pools. Cool. This is Limo Pools and it's stunning. Alright, so we're in Limo Pools on Niue and um, these are the number one ranked natural pools in the entire world according to TripAdvisor and we're here and it's beautiful, it's clear water and we're going to have a swim and meet some fishes. And the pools are cool, they're really cool, they're really cool. refreshing. Look at the water and it's just absolutely stunning here and we're going to snorkel and find some local fish. Now underwater, there's a strange haze which seems to be coming from some sort of hot water springs coming in somewhere. And it looks just like when you see the haze on a hot day and on Turamang. So the geothermal springs underneath the rocks here, that's what's coming up. And uh, when you see it, as I said, it looks like a haze coming in. Um, and when you're underwater, you see this kind of coming towards you. It feels like a laser beam that's coming at you. It's very strange. But when you see it a lot, then it gets a lot warmer. So there must be lots of little springs where the hot water is coming up through it. It's really cool. chilling on a rock.
<laughs> so we jumped off the cliff, uh, it was awesome, uh, the pools were beautiful here. This is how you get in and out, there's some ladders here. Um, that are pretty sturdy but also a little bit steep and um, you've got to hold on tight and don't have slidey shoes and this is how you get in and out of this area and up well, Hello, so we're in uh, Niue and we just spent time out in the Lima, the Lima pools and uh, this is here <laughs> and we're hanging out with our brand new friend um, who is awesome this is Felicity, she's the CEO of tourism on the island of Niue and um, Niue, yeah. sorry I keep saying it wrong <laughs> and um, yeah she's lovely, she took us out there and um, can you tell us a little bit about a little bit more about UA? What what makes it different from other Pacific islands? Sure, I'd love to. So it's Fakalofalayatu, which is our way of saying welcome, hello, greetings. Why is UA different? So I'm actually from the Cook Islands, um, which many people know as Rarotonga, which is very very different to UA. So UA is a raised coral atoll, and it's the only singular island country in the Pacific. Oh, wow. So there are no others. All the other Pacific islands have a number of islands. We just have one, and you're standing on it. So we raise coral atoll. We have no lakes, no rivers, no streams, which is the reason why we have such perfect water clarity down to 80 metres, wow. which makes us a snorkeling and diving um, hotspot. Um, uh, our water, we have coral limestone, so the water sinks straight through from the aquifer on the island, and that's where we get our pure water from, which is also bottled, which is it's extremely pure water as well, so we're very lucky in that regard. Um, a third of our country is covered by Havalu Forest, which is a huge conservation area, which is natural forest, and the rest of it we're known for is our pristine marine attractions, which you've come from today. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful place. It is. And so we're in the, the centre of town, this is a tourist information office, I'm coming here if you want to get any info on where to go, how to get around, uh, they also have some fantastic local products you can see in sample. We do. We've got noni juice here, which I've tried before. <laughs> and it's it's disgusting. An interesting smell and taste, but it has a myriad of health benefits. Indeed. Including being uh, cancer fighting. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our largest export from the island, is pure 100% organic noni, which is mostly um, exported to Asia. And over here we have our wonderful new and honey, which I must give you a jar of before you leave. So this honey is the only honey in the world that can be imported into New Zealand because it is completely mite free. We are the only mite free honey bee sanctuary in the world. So we're very, very proud of our bees. They're Italian bees. They're the last of their kind in the world. And um, they make the best honey, New A gold honey. So we're very so we don't export our honey. It only goes from here to New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and the, our other product, our export product, is New A vanilla, which is organic, which is a beautiful, high-quality product, um, which is exported all over the world. So, for a very small country of less than 1,500 people, I think we punch above our weight in some places. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, in the town, there's also even some local restaurants. There's eight restaurants there on are the indeed. island. Yes. You can get local fish and chips, um, local curries, yep. I believe. We've got a Japanese restaurant here called Kaika, which was rated by TripAdvisor number eight in the world out sushi restaurant outside of Tokyo. Wow. Don't expect that in the Pacific. No, <laughs> Run by an Israeli. Sorry. <laughs>
Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we've got one island resort, a hotel called the Scenic Butterfly Resort, which has got 54 rooms and a conference centre, world-class facility, full-star facility. Um, we have two flights a week, coming straight out of Auckland, New Zealand. Um, so if you come here, you can fly here on a Wednesday or a Saturday from Auckland and return to Auckland. Sounds good. So if you want to come here and have a beautiful, natural, peaceful, friendly vacation, it sounds like a great place. And we would love to see you. Please come and see us on Newark. Thank you Thank very you. much. So this is the Tourist Information Centre of Nui. Across the street you've got the government building. And we're walking down to the town to check out um, the restaurants before we head back. So this is the main part of town. Um, we've got a local church across the street. Rocket Systems if you need any IT. Um, this is the Indian restaurant which smells amazing by the way and this is why we're going to get some food from there. We're going to have some chicken roti. And then we've got the telecom Nui area here where you can get some fast Wi-Fi. And then we've got the Tiaona Art Gallery here with some local art. And this is what I'm going to check out now. Awesome. We're going to have some roti, chicken roti, from the Indian place for lunch. And this is what it looks like. Mm. We've got chicken, shredded chicken. Oh, delicious. This curry, we've got um, potatoes, there's some spices, there's some chickpeas in here. This is very nice. Like, in Nui. So we had a beautiful day in Nui, uh, we met Felicity, we went and swam in the pools, we jumped off cliffs, uh, we tried some roti, we wandered around town, it was awesome. Um, come visit next time you're in um, Polynesia. See you soon.